Now it's time to play What's Croaking? First up, can you name this frog? It's the Bibberin's Toadlet. How about this one? The Black Mountain Frog. Or this little croaker. Or should I say quacker? The Quacking Frog. Yep, recognising the sounds of Australia's frogs isn't easy. After all, we've got lots of them. 240 to be exact. And they all make a unique sound. From the whistling of the common river frog. Or the squeak of the bush squeaker. Or the distinctive call of the eastern banjo frog. This is Steve. No, he's not a frog. He's a scientist. He spends a lot of time looking for frogs, and he says sounding like them can help. Frogs communicate by making noise, and normally what it is is the males calling to attract the females. So if you go out there and make the noise yourself, sometimes that tricks other males into calling because they don't want to miss out on getting the girl. These guys have been spending time with Steve at their local creek, looking after frog habitats and learning all about the species that live here. So for common froglets like these ones, they grow to around about three centimetres long. It's been really fun planting on the trees. We saw some a little bit of some frogs and it was like really cool. Looking after frogs is important because they're a major food to like birds. But a lot of Australia's frog species are under threat because of things like diseases, habitat loss, pollution and climate change. We've been learning about how sensitive they are to pollution. To help frogs, scientists like Steve need to know more about where different species are living and how healthy their populations are. Which is why they're asking citizen scientists, like these guys, to go on the hunt for frogs. Now, if you've ever looked for frogs, you probably know that they can be pretty elusive and tend to blend in with their environment. But one thing that does stand out is their call. <sighs> Did you guys hear that? I think that's the brown tree frog. How'd you know that? It's on the app. Oh. The Australian Museum has just released an app called Frog ID that lets you identify frogs by recording the sound they make. I've been the Chief Scientist of Frog ID, which is a national citizen science project that's all aimed around getting the information that we need to help conserve our amazing frogs. It's also got a pretty cool playlist of frog sounds, just in case you ever wondered what a buzzing nursery frog sounded like. We've had over 100,000 people download the Frog ID app and around 30,000 people have actually contributed, signed up and contributed a frog call. It's not the only frog spotting app out there. Different states have different versions, but all the data goes to the same place and it's all helping Australia's frogs. We need to really get involved because a frog is a major part of the ecosystem and they're a very endangered species, so I think it's very good to yeah. help protect them. And if you're having trouble finding them, remember, you can always give them a call. Oh.